Welcome everyone to this week's episode of My Life and My Virtual Therapy Dog channel. If you're new here, I'm Frank and this is My Life from My Point of View with voiceovers by Dad. I'm here for all the folks who want a dog but can't have one right now. Hi and welcome to this week's video. This week we're actually on a road trip. No, we're not leaving the county yet. We're just going to the southern part of the county down to uh, Myrtle Point. Hey, that's BJ's. That's that's the folks that put up Dad's shop. South of uh, Coos Bay on 101. And we'll cruise along 101 here for a little bit and then uh, drop down onto Highway 42. Go down through Coquille and out past Winter Lake. That's pretty fascinating, Winter Lake. Yeah, coming up on Highway 42 here. Road just kind of splits and 101 goes south right along the coast and 42 kind of cuts inland and actually all the way over to uh, over, over by uh, Sutherland. Yeah. Winter Lake Auto Recycling and Firewood right here. They do cut a lot of firewood there. They sell a lot of firewood. And this would be the north end of, uh, of Winter Lake. That's just a, a huge, huge cow pasture out there. Every winter it, uh, it becomes a lake. A lot of the a lot of the lower valleys in in the area do, but Dad was saying that that brings all kinds of all kinds of stuff the grass likes in with all the water. So the grass grows like crazy, but it is a pretty giant lake. Not not real deep, you know, two, three, four, five feet at the most. Yeah, yeah. Take a sniff. Yeah, we're we're going pretty fast. I don't like my head out the window when we're going too fast. And log yard. That's that's all logs going to the one of the sawmills there in the area. Logging and and uh, logging and farming. Pretty much uh, the big industries in the area. Rare pictures of mom and dad in this video. Well, just kind of on the outskirts of uh, Coquille here. I guess we're technically all the way in town. And if you like to look around little towns like this, uh, leave a comment. We can uh, we can come back to Coquille and look around downtown and Old Town. Coquille is actually the county seat, so we could uh, stop by the courthouse. Well. Okay, we could look around outside, because, you know, COVID and all, everything's closed. Well, closed to, you know, just walking around and looking inside. Yeah, another little valley, another little, another little lake. And yeah, how I spend a fair amount of time on road trips.
Sorry for the sun. There's just not a whole bunch we can do about it. Then, more, more flooded pasture land. It is a really beautiful drive up through the valley, though. Well, I guess it would be down, down the valley. I guess we're, we're actually headed south on, on 42 there. That's what it looks like without the water. Coming into Myrtle Point. Let's see. Dad was looking on the interwebs. There's, uh, oh, right around 2,500 people in town. Lots of neat old big houses from the kind of the turn of the century there. County Logging Museum. We'll, we'll come back. Don't worry. That's that's too interesting of a looking place to not come back and take a look. Of course, you can't go inside, you know, because of COVID and all that. But we all need to do what we can to get the whole COVID thing done with. We'll, we'll go explore downtown a little bit there too, but Mom found some chairs here at uh, Mohan's Auction House, so And we just, she actually saw the chairs on Craigslist and then we came up and She liked them, so we picked them up, but we just didn't have time that day to To look around at all the other stuff they have if you're cruising through, go in and take a look. They, they didn't want us to film inside, so we didn't. But it's definitely worth a stop. And after that, lunch. Anybody remember A&W? They still make root beer and sell it. And in Myrtle Point, they still have one of the original stores. Back in the drive-in days. You have to go back to the 50s when that, that was the big rage. And, like I said, lots of, lots of cool houses around town. Would like to get more of that one, but the sun was... Sun was right behind it, really bad, so. But they did not have a table at, at the auction house. But we'd drive around town here a little bit, look at some of the architecture. Cruise into downtown and uh, see what some of the other stores have. It's not a real big town, but we're not going very far either. We, we haven't really left the county, so... And Mom's going to go in Harold's and uh, me and Dad will... Walk around town here a little bit and uh, give everybody a little glimpse of how the old town downtown. That, that kind of looks like something Dad would build. Little tiny chopper. Yeah. 
looks a whole lot like a lot of small towns and anywhere really in the in the United States. Probably looks like a lot of small towns in other countries. Harold's that's where mom's at. Well, that's kind of a neat chair. But we already have chairs. And a little uh little glimpse of the, the house chairs and oh I think it was, it was one or two videos ago. A little mini house tour. Just lots of neat old downtown buildings. But here pretty quick we'll walk up to the uh to the logging museum. Once, once mom gets done looking. Yeah, this was a, a print shop. Not exactly sure why they had the scale there, but they had lots of neat old stuff in the windows. Yep, yeah, that's, that's some kind of old printing press. They, they had a couple of them there. The reflection's pretty bad. Sun. Sunshine. Gotta love it. And, well, gonna have to deal with it too on reflections in windows. But. Oh well. Pretty neat mural there. And there's the logging museum. They got a, a bunch of old stuff out outside. I, I'm not sure exactly what that is. Some kind of winch-like contraption. But that, that was an engine on the front of it. Yeah. They're, they're winches. And, and Dad said that was an old flathead V8. Old Ford flathead. Dad, Dad's kind of a... Kind of a car guy. Well, you might have seen that from some of the... Some of the videos of the shop. And a hand crank on the front of that. Can you imagine trying to start a bulldozer with a hand crank? But years ago, Dad had a sailboat with a diesel engine in it that he hand crank started. Pretty neat that people uh, donate stuff to, to museums. Now, I've seen Dad's chainsaw. It looks a lot different than that one. And a very interesting building that the uh, logging museum is in. Yeah, that's pretty neat. We can take a little bit closer look here. Those are some pretty nice doors. Somebody spent a whole bunch of time carving that. Yeah, 
Ooh. A little different uh, view from the other side. And then we got that great big guy there. And walk up here just a little bit. Get a little better view of that. Guy's pretty big. Wish they were open, we could go inside, but uh, unfortunately they're not. Hey, that's a good idea. Thanks, Mom. Now you can see how big that is. Yet. Maybe one more little uh, kind of drive through town here. Gotta love old brick buildings like that. Just a little drive through. See if we can see some more old neat houses. Or... Uh, looks looks like that guy might be a little political. Guy or gal, hard to say. Who knows? But definitely political. Yeah, that stuff really doesn't make much difference to me as a dog. And, unfortunately, there was no tables found today. We actually left. Well, are leaving. We're just about out of town here. Oh, there's another neat old house. So... I do want to say thank you to everybody for uh, sticking around and watching. Thank all the subscribers and uh, everybody who supports the channel by watching and commenting. Sticking up on the like button. I'm going to be uh, just about it for this video. So take care. Cheers until next week. Have fun. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you like my videos, stick upon the thumbs up button. And for the newest, go ahead and paw that subscribe button. Thanks again. Cheers.